parents have recently been giving me an earful, not necessarily an elephant's earful, about what they should do about their child, not their elephant, having too much earwax. Well, listen up and let me lend an ear and some advice on this problem. Earwax, though not the most pleasant thing to look at or talk about, is actually there for a purpose, to protect the eardrum and ear canal. It's produced by glands in the outer ear canal and serves to prevent germs from getting in to cause infection or dust and dirt to get in that can irritate the eardrum. It also provides a waterproof coating for the inside of the ear, which keeps the skin of the ear moist and not dry and itchy. So what should you normally do about earwax? Absolutely nothing. Once earwax is produced, it usually migrates to the outer opening of the ear where it naturally falls out or can be easily removed simply by regular bathing and showering. What should you do if the earwax is excessive? Again, absolutely nothing, unless your child says they're having trouble hearing or have pain due to their earwax, both of which are rare occurrences. If this is the case, the wax should be removed by your child's healthcare professional who can remove the wax in the most painless manner possible. If you want to do something about your child's earwax, if you see it sitting there on the edge of the ear, you can try to wipe the outside of the ear with a damp washcloth rather than a cotton swab or finger, which will simply pack the wax in further or cause infection or ear damage. Other parents may want to try over-the-counter treatments, such as hydrogen peroxide drops for softening earwax. These may be fine, but please talk to your child's healthcare professional first to make sure these are safe to use in your child. If you have any concern about your child's ear pain, don't just blame it on earwax, but have those ears checked to make sure you're not missing an infection or something that your child has stuck up into their ear when you weren't looking that you didn't know was there. So the problem causing the pain can be properly treated. Hopefully, tips like this will make earwax problems be ear today and gone tomorrow when it comes to knowing more about this common concern. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.